Hi everyone, NativeQ here. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some of these uh, cerebral accelerators. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Um, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of blueprints. I've got, uh, what's that, three standard blueprints and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven basic blueprints. Um, I also have um, all the components, which are these ones here that uh, we need to build them. I've got 50 of each um, sort. And of course, I've got my um, ore here from the um, the Harvest Fields um, event. Uh, well, normally I should say, site. And um, yeah, as you can see, I've got uh, 29,742 of it. So the first thing I need to do is take this out into the item hanger and I need to um, yeah just uh, reprocess it so I'm going to go ahead and do that now that uh, CCP has uh, fixed it so as you can see reprocessing it with my current skills is going to give me so out of 20 what's that that's um god I can't I can't um, I can't see that sorry 29,000 blocks of that ore I'm only going to get 843 total uh, which doesn't seem a lot but anyway let's uh, reprocess it and there we go I've got it and I've got um, 42 um, of that atar ore um, left so um, anyway take this stick it in my um, providence which is um, by the way a great ship to um, move stuff around in and uh, what I'll do is I'll go over to a manufacturing station and um, start building so let's go ahead and do that And we have arrived. Yep, great. So open up the hangar. Let's uh, move these guys out. Oops. I hate it when it does that. And we'll move these guys out. And these two out. And that one out. Right. There we go. So, um, first things first, let's um, just open up the. Um, industry window and uh, make sure that we've selected the right structure which is current station <coughs> right sorry about all of that okay so the basic ones here basic um, cerebral accelerator um, oh I forgot that. Silly me. Let's go get that. Microcontrollers. Right. Sorry about that. Right. Let me just quickly undock. And we'll go that. Get that last item that I have um, completely forgot. So we'll go ahead and do that very quickly. Yeah, these are providences, they are slow, but uh, as you can see from the amount of space in their cargo hold, they can hold quite a lot. That's over a million cubic meters of um, storage space that you can um, uh, have items in. So that's, um, yeah, that's a hell of a lot of space. And um, that's achieved by, if I can quickly just show you while we're waiting to get into warp. <laughs> That's achieved by having three, um, just three standard expanded cargo hold tech twos. 
in the um, in the three low slots, and that gives you over a million cubic meters of space. And um, yeah, this is not the arc. Uh, you can't uh, jump anywhere with this. Um, it's just a regular freighter. It's just um, a big one. So hopefully we're going to get into warp soon. There we go. Coming into the keep star from the uh, top down. <laughs> Right, let's get our component. Dun, 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 dun. There they are. Right, we'll put that in there. Oh, by the way, these are basically all the um, drops, well, some of them. <laughs> All the drops that I got from the um, event, um, sorry, the harvest, sorry, the crimson harvest um, event so far. Um, as you can see, not these two sensors, sorry, but um, if you come down here, you got the um, dark blood um, crystals, you got the dark blood small um, pulse laser, um, you've got a couple of, um, well, one kinetic plating, um, and of course, yeah, a dual light beam laser, dark blood, one of them, um, dark blood uh, cap recharger, some, again, some kinetic hardeners, explosive hardeners, and um, yeah, a whole bunch of other crystals. And um, yeah, and I don't know what this is. A my religious mask, I have no idea what that is. But anyway, and uh, yeah, some of the, um, some of the boosters that, that dropped as well. So, um, oh yeah, not forgetting the clothing that, that dropped. Pretty interesting stuff that. Anyway, um, let's just get back to it. So I've got my, the last uh, material that I forgot to bring. So um, we've now got that. So we'll go back up to the manufacturing plant and unload that and start building some um, accelerators see how long it takes. I've um, not had a look yet myself. Hopefully it won't take that long to build them, but you never know. <coughs> Straight up. Yeah, some of you, some of you will probably say is that since I'm not using all the space in this um, freighter, I should actually replace these with um, some inertial stabilizers just so it aligns quicker and um, obviously gets into warp quicker but yeah <laughs> yeah I just can't I can't be bothered uh, changing them out um, I'm not in any rush um, so yeah and hopefully we are now vertical we should um, we should get into warp any any second now Up vault. Yes, we're going up. That's right. Oh, there's a roll call that's just uh, come out of the um, keep star. Going off to do some mining, no doubt. And we have arrived. Great. So let's unload. Right, so now we have everything we need. Let's go back into our industry window. 
so yeah these basic ones let's just have a look at these first so to make five of them it's going to take two minutes so yeah not not long at all to to make these ones um so they do require 208 of the um ore material or the minerals from the ore um and of course five each of these components now these components um, before the Crimson Harvest event, these were really, really cheap. Um, but since the um, Crimson Harvest event, these have skyrocketed up in prices. If you look at that, the especially the data processor, um, which you normally get from um, data sites, uh, look at that. It's saved for 50 of them. It's now up to 87 million pounds. Actually, let's just have a look on the market just to see okay a million okay so that, that's you know that's reasonable um, if I do a quick search you you won't see this but what I'll do is I'll just open up um, uh, Eve appraisal and just uh, find out how much I'm going for in, in Jita uh, data processor Jita Okay, so they're quite so well saying they're still quite cheap. So Jita is um selling them for basically four hundred and sixty thousand each. So okay. Maybe they have come down in price, I'm not sure. Um anyway. Beside the point. Um so yeah, as you can see, basic ones um are pretty easy to make. Um they only require um, 208 of the um, processed um, ore minerals um, for the uh, standard ones wherever they have gone yeah, standard ones they do require a bit more so for uh, you can oh are these only three they are they're only three runs each so the standard cerebral accelerators they're only three runs each whereas the basic ones are five watt runs each so that's uh, pretty interesting why um, CCP decided to do that um, and as you can see they do require um, exactly the same amount of ore that the basic ones do for five runs but yeah it's only three runs for the um, standard yet it uses the same amount of um, processed ore which is um, pretty interesting um, yeah, I wonder if anyone is actually selling them yet on the market okay so someone's selling them um, so the standard one currently in SO SS Terrier where, where I'm currently based um, they're selling them for 70 million each which is quite high to be perfectly honest with you um, and yeah someone bought them for 70 million so it looks as though that they are getting sold um, what about the basic ones Click on that. There we go. Let's have a look at this. Uh, Forty to sixty million. Has anyone bought them yet? Okay, so someone's bought some for thirty million. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. Not too bad. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Um, probably what I will do is if we just have a look. So what does this actually give you? So the basic one only gives you a six point bonus to your attributes for you know basically what's that three days? Oh, I keep on forgetting what that number is. Two six four hundred minutes <coughs> hours. Okay, that's only twenty four hours. Um, so yeah six point advantage for 24 hours and the standard one gives you again 24 hours but it's a 10 point advantage so four more points um, pretty interesting anyway I'm going to build these um, standard ones I'll see how much I can build because um, don't forget I've only got um, just over 800 um, units of, of the um, process door so if I build all three of this lot then oh sorry excuse me um there that's going to be about 600 ore so um anyway let's just go ahead and do that so we'll build that one 
and um, we'll build that one and the last one we'll build that one and uh, may as well build some of the basic ones as well since we're here use up all the ore yep as you can see I've only got 227 um, sorry the uh, minerals I should say 227 left so I'm only going to be able to build five of these um, I'm not going to be able to build any more until I go out and um, mine some more of this ore um, so I'll go ahead and do that <laughs> and that's it I have no more minerals left 19 of them but I've still got um, quite a few of the other uh, material needed 36 of them for all and that's it so in two minutes I will have a whole bunch of um, how much six cents I'll have nine of the standard and I'll have five of the basic and um, yeah so it's as easy as that to um, to create your um, cerebral accelerators anyway just a quick video I hope you uh, found this interesting if you did yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. At least I know um, what you guys and girls want to see and what you don't want to see. And yeah, if you could subscribe as well, that would really help me out a lot. I would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, until the next time, um, fly safe and uh, bye for now.